What's going on guys? Welcome to another one of Black Iron's Battles. Today we've got a super cool Total War Warhammer 2, 2 versus 2 quick battle for you. So I am teamed up with my buddy Magic Potato and uh, we are facing against uh, two, two uh, quick battle randos which are using the Dark Elves and the High Elves. So we, have, we are using the, um, the Lizardmen and the Skaven. So let's go ahead and get right off the bat to our armies. And you'll see I kind of I kind of picked an army that's pretty similar. Now let's go ahead and pause that up. And uh, just because there's going to be a lot of artillery fire happening, as you can see from those three uh, plague claw catapults. But let's I mean, as you can see, it's kind of like the uh, army I used in my last Lizardman uh, video. So we've got three groups of chameleon skinks. They're just all around great for uh, skirmishing units. We've got the uh, we've got the skink priest up here with the lore of beasts, and he's got uh, he's got flock of doom to cast over and over again. Uh, we've got a couple of sauruses up here, saurus warriors in the front. We've got some saurus spears at the edges, and we've also got the two bastilodons over here with the solar engine. Besides that, we've switched out the revivification crystal for a unit of croxagors, just because those guys are so cool. Look at them uh, in there; they remind me of that movie Hook, uh, the big. The big, uh, you know, alligator that falls and eats <laughs> hook, hook at the end of the movie. Um, we've also got Crocgar here. We've got uh, him on top of Grimlock. I just love the way he looks. Um, and besides that, um, I do have just, uh, you know, I think I've got, oh yeah, a unit of uh, skin cohort right here in the back. So I don't have a ton of units, but what I do have, it's got some, uh, definitely some bang for its buck. Over here for Magic Potatoes Army, you'll see he's got some clan rats with spears and shields. Um, all sorts of clan rats right there in the front. Just a row of those little rats. You'll see them there. Um, here in the back, he's got some Skaven Slave Slingers. Uh, those are just kind of cheap. They kind of just harass and they kind of make the enemy waste a lot of time, uh, you know, going at him. We've got a Plague Priest over here. And you see he does have a couple of spells there. He's got uh, like Plague Wind and I think he's got a Summon as well. Um, he's also got two groups of Plague Monk Sensor Bearers right here. Um, those guys will they'll actually uh, reduce the uh, leadership of any unit that they go up against by 10. Um, besides that, he, he I think he does have Queek here. He's using Queek, and uh, that should allow him to take out the, those leaders there if they're on the ground. And so overall, he's just got a ton of, a ton of uh, fodder units up here in front, but he does have some big boys. So he's got this... Uh, Hell Pit Abomination, look at that. I mean, those are so awesome looking. I just love the way they look. Just uh, that kind of steampunk vibe they give. Besides that, he's got three Plague Claw Catapults. So these guys are going to be doing some major, major damage to the enemy um, if they're, they're you know, grouped up. So uh, over here for the Dark Elves, you'll see he has got some Dark Riders with shields over here on the flanks. And over here for his main army, you'll see right there in front, he does have that super cool War Hydra. So um, those things can do some major damage, and I'll have to I'll start focusing it right off the bat with those solar engines just to make sure I can do um, as much damage and take it out. It's worth a ton of gold. Um, besides that, he's got some Harganeth Executioners. He's also got some Bleak Swords kind of here mixed in for fodder, some Dread Spears as well as some Black Guard. Um, so he's got, you see the unit of Elite there flanked by two units of the regular units kind of protected and um, allow it to stay alive a little bit longer. Here in the back, he does have one group of Dark Shards with Shields and then two groups of shades. So those shades are actually really strong with that armor piercing. And I've got to make sure they're not doing too much shooting at my uh, big boy units, my dragons. Over here for the high elf, you'll see he has brought the princess on a moon dragon. So look at her on top of that dragon. That is pretty awesome looking. Um, and you see she's got actually a good number of abilities there. She's got 520 weapon strength, causes terror. So that is going to be some be able to do some major damage since we don't really have a lot of ranged units to take that out. Uh, here in the front, you'll see there's a bunch of Lothar and Seaguard with shields. Uh, those are, you know, just super, super strong um, anti-large. So they've got tons of spears. Um, they've got arrows. So when their arrows run out, they're still able to get in there and do some pretty good damage. You see they've got 52 melee defense and 22 attack. They've got silver shields. So those guys are going to be no uh, pushovers. Here in the back, you'll see he's got an army of Eagle Claw bolt throwers. Now, I've had some trouble making these things work for me. He's got four of them. I'm not sure if he'll keep them in. Uh, they can go into multi-fire. They can go in single fire. But we'll have to see if he's able to get some good damage out with those bolt throwers. I've always had some trouble. Besides that, he does have four tier knock chariots. I mean, these are awesome. These, I think he's got to run right through those Skaven units. 
um, just for, for their expense and they're super mobile um, they'll be able to do a good amount of damage and keep riding through but luckily for us he we do have a lot of spears and just kind of kind of fodder units and kind of we should be able to just kind of tar pit and take some people down maybe slow them with these skinks and we'll just see how this goes so let's go ahead and get the battle started right off the bat you'll see that we're just blasting look at just bleak swords just dying oh my god so um you'll see if if i mean if they stay still for too long these plague claw catapults will be able to do major major damage additionally we're starting to kind of move up there let's go ahead and see if we can get in there oh man see look at that those black guard of nagaron just took heavy damage i mean those plague claw catapults will do a bunch of damage to those grouped up units you see we're also kind of starting to move up forward here we're getting these saurus warriors we're going to get these uh clan rats to kind of soak up the charge of these units oh man look at that there's just i mean there's oh, oh, oh we're just trying to i mean even the solar engines are coming in there you see they're they're hitting some skaven slaves but that's okay uh with the skaven as long as you hit the enemy we're okay the slaves are just there to to die uh, over here on the left you'll see we have got these chameleons but luckily we did have them on uh on skirmish mode so we're gonna kind of be getting away and taking shots at those dark riders as they chase in and we should be able to take them out before too long over here on the right you'll see we do have these clan rats with spears kind of protecting our flanks um but these these tyranox chariots uh they're getting in there and they're doing a good amount of damage to these these skaven slaves um but you know that's okay if he wants to waste a lot of the ammo and um, that's just fine. Look at that. I mean, that, that comment came in, but it did not do the damage I think he had hoped on those plague monks. And we're just going to continue doing major damage. Look at this War Hydra is just continuing to get smacked down. So, besides the War Hydra, you'll see that, I mean, the, the High Elf is pretty untouched over there. But we've gotten most of our units here kind of engaged on this Dark Elf. So, you see, we've got these Bleak Swords down. Um, you see, look at that Plague Claw is just still slamming in there. It might be doing more good than, uh, or more harm than good at this point, but we've got this Plague Priest here in the back. He's kind of fighting Malekith. We've got uh, the Hell Pit Abomination. Even though he's way down in health right now, he's in here still fighting. Um, he'll be able, I mean, he's actually doing good damage to those Dread Spears, but um, once these Blackguard get in, they should be able to take him right off the field. You see here in the back, we've got Malekith, and we've got these Croc Cigars on him. So since they have 84 armor piercing weapon damage, um, plus, plus this uh, Queek we've got in here, um, Malekith will actually probably start going down pretty quickly. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, man. I just love those Skaven spells. So if you look here, we've got the Hell Pits kind of routing off. Here in the back, we've, we're still trying to fight these Chariots. We've got Plague Monks. We've got Krokgar coming in on the Chariots. Um, we've got the, the Chameleon Skinks kind of trying to slow them down. And I'm just doing everything I can to try to take out these Chariots. I mean, these things are just... A nightmare to our back lines luckily we still have got both of the uh, plague claw catapults shooting in and now that the dark elves are kind of spread out here they're not doing a ton of damage right now while they've uh, while they've got their buff active oh man see the plague claw still firing at that hydra there in the back but uh, unluckily for me the the uh, the princess did manage to get on top of that skink priest so he was able to kind of take him out pretty easily with that moon dragon um, that is no match for uh, my skink priest on a pterodon is no match look at that flying by oh man that that solar engine got a nasty shot look at those dead bodies from those bleak swords there and we're just kind of trying to shoot everything we can at these dark elves we figure if we can take the dark elves out um, we can get in there afterwards and kind of try to continue taking out those high elves but i mean it is really close if we look here at the balance of power it's 50 50 um we've both uh, we've got 1100 units left they have 700 but they started with a lot more elite units over here in the back you see we have kind of gotten those chari chariots to route off so even though they're taking shots in here at crocgar we've still got cold-blooded on crocgar available and uh, luckily for me over here in the back um we've also got that skink priest has cold-blooded so you see we've got that on myself and i'm going to kind of replenish and come back in here and try to get some more uh shots off while this uh while this high elf princess is off trying to chase around in the back ends look at that you see that solar engine is starting to hit that hydra again that hydra is actually almost near its regeneration cap i'm not sure quite what's been healing it but we have managed to uh take out magic potato got in there and he was able to use these plague monks to take out those uh those black guard of nagaron so that'll help us out a lot because we do have these huge um, dinosaur units and we've got you know grimlock and we really don't want him to be uh him to be using those black guard they're huge anti-large bonus 
Besides that, you see we do have these skink priests here. We're going to just be ca casting Flock of Doom on wherever we can. You see we've got it on these shades, and I'm going to go ahead and try to get in there. But we have a ton of Mysaurus, and uh, they're all rampaging. <laughs> so I think for like the next good portion of this match, Mysaurus are just going to be chasing this group of shades, and they're just completely out of my control. So for me, the only thing I really have control of left, I've got a uh, Krokgar here in the back who's just been continuing to fight these chariots. And um, we've been fighting the princess over here, and so there's just a ton going on. You see these Plague Claw Catapults have almost used up all of their ammo, so that is great. They've been getting a ton of kills, and I think we've really gotten our value out of them. Besides that, you see there's a ton of Skaven routing off, but luckily for us, the balance of power is starting to move a little bit more in our favor. We've kind of been able to use Croc Guard to take out these Chariots. If you look, they're routing off. We're still shooting at the High Elves with these Plague Claw Catapults. And we've, we've still got a, a good number of uh, units with these... Two solar engines going. We've got uh, not a lot of ammo left, but we've got some chameleon skinks who have good ammo. Um, you see here that Magic Potatoes got a bunch of clan rats left and plague monks and queeks still alive. So um, there's still a good, good fight to be had. Over here on the right, you'll see that this Tyrannoc Chariot is kind of getting surrounded by these clan rats with spears. And even though those clan rats are so weak, they are strong enough to kind of route off that chariot, I think. So that's going to be great for us. And since we do have. Uh, um, our units here in the back, we've got a croc guard back, we've got our skink priest back, so oh look at that hand of the god, I think actually maybe that was, if that was hand of the gods, or I'm not sure if that was a bestilodon, but either way that was huge damage, oh it was the hand of the gods coming in, so look at that princess is pretty much routed off and there she goes, oh there's her dead body, there's the dead moon dragon and that is going to be a big turning point for this match. Now with the high elf's leadership gone, um, and with all of those chariots kind of routed off or out of ammo, if you look here in the back, this this chariot's about to get taken out by this group of uh, plague claw. Look at those rats in there; they're fighting tooth and nail. They're actually the <laughs> they're actually fighting off that chariot as the uh, as the you know ch as the manners of the catapult. That's crazy. I did try to uh, send up this Basilodon. I was figuring with its huge amount of 140 uh, armor that I could maybe kind of soak up some of the, the hits from these archers, but it died way too quick. Look at that. I mean, he only has 900 health. It is just, his health is dropping so quick. He's broken, and that was kind of just a big waste. I see they still have tons of ammo left on these Lothern Sea Guards, so now that uh, I've lost one of my Basilodon, it's getting a little bit closer to being in their favor. So we decided, I mean, we, look over here. We've still got those those four groups of Saurus. So this was just driving me crazy. They're all on Rampage. They're chasing this one group of Shades, and that is one of the, the disadvantages to playing as the Lizardmen. We still do have a good number of Skaven here, though. You see we've got this Hell Pit Abomination. Still got some health left. And uh, I'm actually going to start trying to cast Flock of Doom here on this front line. So I got one off there, and we didn't take too much damage with the Skink Priest. And luckily for us, we do have these Plague Claw Catapults back online. They do still have some ammo. Um, I don't have any ammo left on my final solar engine, but those Plague Claw Catapults are kind of going to make it so he's got to move in. Here in the back, you'll see these Eager, Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers. They're pretty much out of ammo, so they're not going to really do a lot. I don't know, if, um, you know... I don't know that they're going to be as helpful kind of uh, in the late game because uh, I don't, you know, they don't really have very good stats on their uh, their crews. Here in the back, you'll see Malakith has got such little health with only 360. All of these Dread Spears and Blackguard are almost dead. Um, with the few high elf units that are remaining with full strength, we're just continuing to spam Cla uh, Flock of Doom. We're continuing to nail them with those. Uh, Plague Claw Catapults, which are almost out of ammo, but, you know, they seem to have kept just enough. I've been keeping Krokgar in the back here this whole time, just fighting off chariots. I think I managed to miss one, which is probably going to get in here, and let's see if we can get a chariot slam into a catapult there. Oh, they sent some rats flying, but um, he, uh, Magic Potatoes got this Plague Priest and these Sensor Bearers right there ready to get in. And, uh, you know, it is just it is just not looking great for the opponents here. Um, while they do have a few units left that are here in the middle, you'll see here that Malachis only got 360, and I still have almost a full health Basildon. So that, that Basildon is going to be definitely pretty hard to kill. You see that Plague Claw Catapult still firing in here, and even though I am wavering, I mean, I'm pretty much surrounded. 
Um, this Basildon is actually going to get in here and do with the damage. He, he shatters that uh, Black Guard. I think he's going to get in here and manage to take out this, uh, this Hydra. And once he takes out, let's see if I, I'm trying to get him. I think I'm trying to get him right now to attack Malekith. Um, the Hydra is actually shattered. Now Malekith's here, and you see this Bastildon is just in here, just finishing off the battle. There's still a few units shooting in. We've got the the Lothran Sea Guard and the Dark Shards firing in there. But once the, <laughs> once this Bastildon gets on his adventures, he's he's gonna finish it off. His he saw his brother get shot down by Archer fire, and he was ready to finish the game. Um, he still had a ton of health, so that was just overall just a blast to play. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at this post-game wrap-up screen. If you see here, we only got 50 and 6 with the solar engines, but we took a ton of shots at the War Hydra and other large units, so um, it may not show quite as, you know, we did get one uh, Chevron here, but it may not show all of the, the damage these guys did, although they this is probably the one that charged in there at the end. Um, the croc cigars as well. I mean, I was able to do a ton of health to, um, to Malekith and or a ton of damage to Malekith. We were able to do some good work with them. And if you see here, they did gain a chevron. So they must have done something pretty well. The Saurus were great there in the front line, even though for the second half of the match, they were just tracing a unit of shades around. Um, you know, they did their duty. They held it long enough for the Chameleon Skinks and the, the Skink Priests and all these different units to kind of do their own. Krokgar with nine kills was fighting chariots the whole time. And I think that uh, even though I didn't get just a huge number of kills, we were really fighting, uh, you know, just, a, a, I mean, a, only 154 losses with the High Elves, so... Um, you, you know, there wasn't as many to go around. Over here for Potato's Army, uh, you see here these clan rats really didn't perform. And I almost feel like the Skaven Slaves with Spears are almost uh, almost better than the clan rats, just because you save so much money. Although with their shields, they probably did soak up a ton of damage, which kind of allowed these Plague Claw Catapults, the Hell Pit Abomination, um, you know, just a little bit of damage with the Sensor Bears, but just, just the sheer amount of... Uh, uh, just a low number of kills all around, just because just the enemy only had about 1,100 units. Um, here for our opponents, you'll see here, they did get a good number of kills. They were lined up against, we had a little bit more numerous armies here. Um, 1254 for Magic Potato. And you'll see there that Princess got, managed to get 66 kills, but, um, you know, the Sea Guard also got a bunch. He was able to get a lot of kills on those chariots. But the Eagle Claw Bolt Arms, I really don't know how well they performed. I mean, they did get some chevrons. I don't know if you put those on initially. Um, but overall, I mean, that, for, that was a lot of kills, but we were able to decapitate that leadership. So I'm always going to say it. I always feel like you need a second leader. Um, if you're going to bring one uh, up in the air on a big, uh, you know, dragon or something, you kind of got to bring a noble or something like that to kind of kind of keep, keep it going, keep your guys alive. I mean, he still had a ton of units remaining. So he could have maybe kept his guys alive a little bit longer had he had a second hero to kind of boost the leadership. Over here for Figman, you'll see that War Hydra. We shut that down. We were able. I was shooting those solar engines at it for a while. Um, we were able to shut down those Dark Riders right off the bat with the Chameleon Skinks. But those Shades and, um, you know, all of these different, you know, I mean, <laughs> he did okay. He did okay with those Shades. They were really they were really just doing a bunch of damage from the back. The Hargoneth Executioners got in there and did a bunch of damage. But the Play Clock Catapults really shut down these Blackguard. And uh, that's why I think they only had 18 kills. So we did do a good amount of damage. This front line really wasn't able to cut through the Saurus. Um, Malekith by himself was killed, and I think that was just kind of the issue with both both teams. Um, since they only brought the one leader, when they were cut down, there wasn't really a, a leadership buff left, and it kind of you know cost them cost them the match. Although that was a great game to my opponents, Figman and Doctor Sulith Face, um, and also my my teammate Magic Potato, a good buddy of mine. I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe for more great online content. This is Black Iron, and this has been another one of Black Iron's Battles.